draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for a given cantilever beam as shown in figure. Cantilever beam span it is 1.5 meter. Okay. So this one it is cantilever beam. For that, first we need to some assumption for that. If the, the moment it is anti-clockwise direction, sorry, if moment it is clockwise direction, it will be take positive. If moment it is anti-clockwise direction, it will be take negative. Okay. Then there it is this assumption for the left side. Okay. Left side. Left side. Okay. The second assumption when the moment it is clockwise direction, it will be take negative. And moment it is and anti-clockwise direction, it will be take positive. Okay. So this assumption it is for right side, okay? Right side, right side. Okay. Then third one assumption it is, when the force it is going upward direction, it will be take positive. When the force it is going downward direction, it will be take negative. Okay. For up, upward, it will be take positive. For downward, it will be take negative. So only we need here for cantilever beam only right side assumption it is utilized for that. Okay. So first of all, at A there will be fixed ray end and at B it will be free. Okay. So at A at at A there will be one reaction, it will be upward reaction. That is it will be R A R A reaction. So for that, we need to calculate the reaction. So apply the equilibrium equation, summation of Fy is equal to zero. Summation of Fy is equal to zero. Algebraic sum of all the vertical forces is equal to zero. Here it is only one unknown. That's why we will directly apply summation Fy is equal to zero. So upward it is R8 is going upward direction, then minus. This UDL load, it is converted, it is in point load. Okay. So UDL load, so this distance, it will be so A to C distance it will be acted UDL load. So this distance it will be the so total span it is 1.5 meter and this one it is C to B it is 0.5 meter. Means this distance it will be get one meter, one meter. So UDL load it is acted for A to C and that is one meter. So one kilometer meter into one, it will be get point load. It will be acted at the center of this one meter. That is convert this UDL load it is in point load that is one kilo newton okay so distance from this a to this load it will be 0.5 meter it is acted center of a to c that is 0.5 meter from the 0.5 meter from the fixed end that is a okay so summation fy is equal to zero then r a it will be one kilo newton it is downward direction minus then minus two minus two at b it will be there is a third force that is going downward direction. So minus two is equal to zero, okay? It will be get R A is equal to, R A is equal to three kilo. R A is equal to three kilo. Okay. So R A is equal to, this one is, R A is equal to three kilo. R A is equal to three kilo. So we are calculating the reaction. Now SF calculation. Complete the SF calculation. So it is start from B, okay? B to G. So for SF, SF at, SF at right of, right of B to be zero. SF at right of B to be zero. At right side, there is no any force, okay? Then SF at B, SF at B, SF at B. So SF at B to be, there is a one downward force, that is minus two kilometer, minus two kilometer. Downward it is going, that's why it will be Minus a degree. Okay. Then SF at SF at right of C. SF at right of C. SF at right of C will be also minus two kilo. Only there is a two kilo at right side. That's why it will be minus two kilo. Then next one it is SF at SF at SF at left. Sorry, SF at right of SF at right of right of it. SF at right of it will be First, it is minus two kilonewton, and this one kilonewton it is going downward direction, so minus one. 
it will be is equal to minus 3 minus 3 kilo newton minus 3 kilo newton minus 3 kilo newton so next one it is sf at a sf at a so sf at a is equal to so this minus 3 minus 3 then upward force at a it will be going that is 3 kilo newton so minus 3 plus 3 to be 0 okay so this one it is sf calculation so now draw the now draw the SFD diagram with the help of SF calculation. First, draw the reference line at A, then at C, then at B. Okay. So this one is SF calculation. So draw the neutral axis for this SFD diagram. This one it is neutral axis. So first of all, start from the. They start from the. Start from the B. This one it is a reference line. So first of all, SF at right of B, right of B. This one it is B point with the help of reference line. So at B to SF at left right of B will be zero. SF at B will be minus two kilo. So this one it is minus two kilo. It will be minus two kilo. Okay, minus two kilo. Then S SF at right of C, SF at right of C it will be also minus two kilo. It will be also minus two kilo, minus two kilo. Then SF at, SF at right of A it will be minus three kilo. So this one is minus three kilo, right of A minus three kilo. Then SF at A it will be zero. Actually it will be draw the parabolic curve, okay? Sorry, it will be inclined line, inclined line. Okay, so if we get inclined line, then the UDL load it is under. Okay, in SFD parabolic, it will be drawing BMD diagram. Okay, so this one it is three kilonewton, and this one it is two. This one it is also two. So BMD in kilonewton, BM sorry SFD in kilonewton, SFD in kilonewton, SFD in kilonewton, kilonewton. So this one it is minus, minus. Okay, so this one it is SFD diagram. For the given cantilever beam, okay. given cantilever. Now do the B, BM calculation. BM calculation. BM calculation. So we need the assumption for BM calculation. It will be right side. Okay. Okay. Now BM calculation. BM calculation. This one is two kilometer. This one is two kilometer. So BM calculation, BM calculation, BM calculation. Okay. So first of all, at BM at B, BM at B it will be zero. BM at B is equal to zero. Okay. Then BM at C, then BM at C. So BM at C it will be, BM at C it will be. So here we need to calculate BM at C. Okay. So we'll take all the right side, right side of load. Okay. So right side there is a only two kilo newton at the B. So we need to assumption of right side. Okay. So C T B it is so two kilo newton load acted at the right side. Okay. So that's why we need to do the assumptions of right side assumption. Okay. So in right side assumption, it is clockwise, it is minus anti-clockwise, it is plus. So how it is rotating this two kilo newton about the C C here. This one it is rotating. How it is clockwise direction. That is means minus so minus minus 2 into 2 into 0.5 2 into 0.5 it will be 1 kilo newton meter 1 kilo newton meter 1 kilo newton meter the next one it is bm at a bm at a bm at a bm at a so it will be take all the right side load okay so that's why we will do the other and this okay then right of here it will be is minus minus 2 into 2 into perpendicular distance of 2 b to a it will be 1.5 meter 1.5 meter then next one it is this udl load it is acted minus into this one it is also rotating clockwise direction so 1 into 0. 0.5 1 into 0. 0.5 okay so it will be get how it will be get so 2 
หนึ่งตัวมันไฟแดนตัวหนึ่งก็พอยต์ไฟดิลวิทีพอยต์ไฟกิโลนิวตันเมตรมายนัสทีพอยต์ไฟกิโลนิวตันเมตรโอเคตัวเบี้ยเมตรทุลเบี้ยเมตรทุลวิพอยต์กิโลนิวตันเมตรโอเคตัวดิสตูอิตุลีอัลโซโรเทติงอัพบอลด์ตัวพอยต์ทุลวิแอนตี Sorry, clockwise direction. So right side clockwise direction it will be take negative value. Okay, this one it is also rotating clockwise direction. Okay, so this one it is also rotating clockwise direction. Okay, so that's why this one it is BM with the help of BM calculation rather rather BMD. Okay, rather BMD bending moment diagram. So first of all, draw the Or draw the reference line. First, it is this A reference line, then C, then this one is B. Okay. Or draw the neutral axis. So first of all, BM at B it will be zero. BM at B it will be zero. Then BM at C it will be minus one kilo meter. It will be minus one. Draw the straight line. Minus one kilo newton per meter. Then BM at A will be minus three point three point five kilo newton meter. So this one it will draw the parabolic line. Okay. Under the UDL load, it will be draw the parabolic line. So this one it is minus three kilo newton meter. Minus three kilo newton meter. Okay. So this one it is BM D diagram in kilo newton meter. That will at A will be three point five three point five kilo newton meter. At the C, it will be minus one kilo. But that is minus indicates it will be below the neutral axis. So this one it is BMD in kilo newton meter. BMD in kilo newton meter. BMD in kilo newton meter. This one it is also minus one. Minus one kilo newton meter. Okay. So this one it is BMD diagram or calculator. Okay. Under you deal with the parabolic line. Under the load point, it will be rather straight line. Okay, C to B will be straight line. Near to C will be parabolic line. Okay, so this line it will be parabolic line. Okay, this one it is SFD beam. It is for given cantilever beam. Okay, 